everyone, this is Jeannie. Welcome to my channel. I am going to attempt to show you how I do my nails when I put a French um, look on my nails. I've been doing this for probably three, or three years or so, and sometimes I do better than others. But um, I remove my nail polish with this horrible acetone. I know it's really bad for your nails, but um, I've already done that. I removed my polish. Um, but it, it works for me and I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, the next thing I do is I put on <clears throat> a little cuticle eliminator by Be Natural. I got this at Sally's and I just leave it on there for a few minutes and then I scrape my cuticles with this little round brush. I mean tip. <laughs> tool. And then I wash my hands. After that, I put on a coat of nail teaks. This is tinted red. It comes clear, but um, when I use my red nail polish, it just gets tinted. But I still use it. You can't really tell. And I put a coat of this on, and this really is full of protein, and it saved my nails after I had acrylics for years and years. My nails were paper thin, and I did not think they would ever get back to a healthy state. And they did, because someone mentioned to me to start using nail teaks. So you, what you do, if you want to keep, if you have really paper thin nails, you just put one coat of this on every night. And on the seventh night, you remove all the polish and start all over again until your nails are healthy. And you can actually... If you already have healthy nails, you can uh, use it on top of nail polish. So, and it'll keep your nails from chipping. It's just amazing. And I have numerous bottles of this. When I run out, I just go out. It's kind of expensive. This is about $10, I think, $10, $12 for a little, a quarter of a fluid ounce. So that's what I have on right now. I put it under my nail polish and on top of my polish. So I did that already. And now I'm going to apply my white. Uh, and I have a couple different kinds. I have Orly and then I have the Sally Hansen, which is good, but this is a lot thinner and I'm kind of running out of this Orly. So I have this along. And then after I put on my tips, um, then I use this little tool. It's just an artist brush. It's, where is it? There. It's an artist brush, and I just dip it in my um, polish remover and scrape the sides. So I'll show you how I do that. Um, I've already filed my nails. So, and then afterwards, it depends on my nude, my mood. I'll put on this uh, pink tint on just the base of my nails and then I put on a coat of just clear polish and then on top of this I'll put on just on my tips the snail teeths so that's those are the tools that I use for my French polish so I'll just go ahead and begin and I might have to do this over again we'll see how it comes out. I don't know if you can see, but I'll start with this Orly. Just shake it on up. And you can, here I have to you can cheat and make your nails longer. I really don't know if you can see, but I'll do my best. And it doesn't matter how messy you get because you can always touch it up later. Uh, with the, or take it off, take off the mess with the nail polish remover and your little brush. Oh, I'm running out of this. So, <clears throat> and I always do two coats of the white 
doesn't really take that long to do it all. And I, you know, this, this polish matches every outfit I wear. Uh, whenever I use a color, I always want to go back right away to my French polish. See how kind of messy it is, but it's okay. You can always fix it up later. Just keep on brushing it on till all of your nails are covered. And then we'll go back and do it one more time very lightly. I don't like it to get too thick because then you'll have a hard time drying. See how kind of a hair on here. See how kind of messy it is. It's okay because you're gonna fix it later. So then, <coughs> just give it another coat, just to make sure you have a nice white layer on there. That one didn't need much. I like to make sure the edges are covered and uh, the tips are well covered. Um, sometimes it looks like I have a lot on so I don't bother to go over it a second time. That one needs a little bit. So there, now I have my first coat of clear on and then I have my white tips on. So now, let me shut this. Now I can go ahead and use my little brush. I need my glasses so I can see what I'm doing. I usually wear my glasses. And what I do is I pour just a little bit a little bit of polish remover in the cap. Then I dip my brush in the cap. It's nice and soft. Wipe off a little bit and then I'll show you how to do it better after I'm done with my thumb. I think this one needs a little bit more. So what I do, I hope you can see, is I just place it flat and then I swoosh it back and forth uh, just a little bit. So see? Oh, I hope you can see this. Okay, so you put it flat on your nail and then just gently rotate the brush from the left to the right just a little bit. Clean up the edges. So see? So put it flat on your nail and go back, twist it to the left and the right. Sometimes I do it too much. I have to make sure I don't, I don't like the whites of my real nails to show. That's what I'm trying to say back and forth. Gives it a really clean look. See, there's too much of that white nail showing so I might have to do that over. Okay, now my thumb, I have to do it a little bit differently. It's not perfect because I'm not a nail salon person. So, you, oh, oh, look what I did. Sometimes it's hard to do this on the camera because you're kind of nervous as it is trying to do your nails. So I'm just going to go right over that little mark I made and I like to keep it clean as I go. 
Okay, so let's start over again. Okay, I did that one. So, put it flat on your nail and then just twist it gently to the left and the right. Oh, that looks awful. Flat on your nail and twist it right and left. Really works well this way. Flat on your nail, twist it to the right and the left. Gives it a nice moon shape. Flat on your nail, twist it to the right and the left. That's where I did my boo boo. Doesn't look too good. So, just use nail polish to fix it. Nail polish remover to take it off. And you know what? It's just, it's not the end of the world to have a little boo boo. But let's just take it off in here. Remove it. You're probably thinking, why don't I just? Take the whole thing off. Well, because here, let me use this squirrely again. Fix that little spot. But all my nails are fine except for this one. There, that's better. I'm really running out of this orally. Gotta get some more. I like the consistency of this orally polish. It's thick not too thick. The Sally Hansen that I used is a little bit too thin. So you just have to find what you what works for you. And I'll, I'm going to give that a minute to dry. So see how it turned out? Pretty good, huh? Okay, let me fix this one. Now I'm not going to put my clear on this one yet until it dries. So I'm going to give this a few minutes to dry. And I'll be back to show you what it looks like after this is dry. Okay. See? Hi everyone, I'm back. And um, <clears throat> my husband came home and I ate a piece of pizza, let this dry. But see the little one that was a boo-boo, it's better. I fixed it and like I said, I am not a professional, so it's not, you know what? I am not that good at doing this, but my thumbnail needs a little more white. Let me put some white on it. And I don't have to re-dip my brush because I'm not going to go below that line. Just needed a little, extra, a little extra TLC, so I'll let that dry a little bit. So I think I will put on some of this tint just to show you how I do it. So I just take a little bit. I do a little swoop up there and then just do down here because I want the white to be really white. So you do just a swoop up there. And I have such long nail bits. A swoop right here. That's pretty, huh? It just gives it a little extra oomph. But I do have to let this dry, of course, before I put on my white. I mean my clear. It's, it's really different to do this um, on a camera and kind of talking. I'm usually real quiet and I can't be disturbed. <laughs> Inevitably the phone will ring. You just keep going. Just very carefully. Um, sometimes I won't do the pink tint. I just do it like that. Then I'll do this thumb. I hope you can see. I did a recipe 
this morning and I found it because it was a really good recipe. Now I'm going to do my thumb. Um, and it's kind of frustrating to watch because you can't really see what I'm doing. And I don't know if I'm going to upload that or not, but there. Okay, there are my nails. So I'm going to let this dry. When it's totally dry, I will put on this clear coat. When this is dry, I will put on my nail teaks just on the top. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial of how I do my French manicure. I hope it was um, helpful to anybody. Why don't you try to brave it? Do it yourself. Um, you can save about $25 in doing this yourself. I will talk to you later, everybody. God bless you. See you next time. Bye-bye.